Yeah, so on your list, the things you're going to want in the high tunnel are really, well, I mean, for the, su for the summer season, it's just like those tomatoes and those peppers, really. Yeah, um, yeah you could do all kinds of stuff um, in there now, because, I mean, to, if you wanted to, but if snow isn't melted yet, you know, if I were you, I would recommend on your this year don't try to get too complicated don't try to do things like you've seen me do where i'm like overlapping production in a high tunnel to push it into winter and stuff like that i would just try to keep it as simple sort of standard gardening season as possible where you're really growing may until the end of september you know sure once the tomatoes come out you could try to seed some stuff for winter but it takes a lot of, it takes kind of experience to really do that without me kind of giving you this complicated um, succession plan on how to do this stuff. All, all of these things, all these crops you have here are all relatively easy to grow. You know, like, um, is this shared? Oh, it is. So I can just type in here. Like I would start these, um, you know, your cucumbers, well, you could, you could put the cucumbers in the greenhouse too, if you wanted, you could just do cukes, tomatoes and, uh, and peppers in the greenhouse, okay. the cukes. Oh, so tomatoes I'd start now. Uh, like I said, all the peppers I would start now cukes. You don't really need to start those until what are we at? We're March 18th today. If you start cukes, don't take long. They're like three weeks in pots and then so i'm thinking even by end of april in an unheated greenhouse yeah they could be okay so you you know you could start those let's see here ah shit you know what you could you could actually start your cukes now too okay. uh but they're gonna go in uh plant in ground in three to four weeks uh, the tomatoes, they're going to be in, you're going to start them now in smaller cells. I mean, if you've got the space, you can yeah. start them in bigger pots now, if you okay. have the space. Um, but, they're, you know, they're going to be like seven to eight weeks in pots. Uh, same, same with your, your peppers. Um, and so that's all the tomatoes. And then uh, potatoes... I mean, you're not really going to plant those in the ground until I would just say May 1st. Okay. Carrots, you could do the same thing. Beets, actually beets. The, the best way to do beets is start them as transplants. But for a first year garden, I, I wouldn't recommend doing that. I would just wait till like May 15th to plant those in the ground. Okay. Chard, you could put in there May 1. Beans, definitely wait till May 15th. Uh corn you could do the same thing there uh, basically all this stuff cabbage i've never a fan of doing cabbage in the main season i always do it like july 1st or call it say june 15th i always do cabbage as a fall crop that way you pass aphid pressure you okay. do a lot of these brassicas like brussels sprouts are definitely the worst you do not That's want to do them not. save yourself the hassle and the disgust of just the amount of aphids that they get it's just yeah. i just do it in the summer and then and then they get a bit of aphid pressure and like maybe you'll start to see it in august but then you'll get a frost before anything establishes and then the frost kills all the bugs and then you got a really nice crop going into the fall okay onions you could start now for sure garlic that doesn't go in until october you know 15th and on right uh you know, October 15th to like November I, I, in, 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 in uh, Ontario, it's a little bit later than, or a little bit earlier than we do it. We okay. I can plant garlic here as late as like late November, but your guys' winters get colder quicker. Right. Um, zucchinis, they don't need a lot of time in pots, but that's going to be an outdoor crop. Is this cool? Just kind of going through this list. Is this helpful? Yeah, this is amazing. Yeah, I mean, okay. you're typing it in and it's showing up on my end. I don't have to. Do okay, anything. good, good. Um, yeah, so I mean those zucchinis, they can go out into the ground by middle of May. So I would start them 
yeah, kind of third week of April. Okay. And then transplant uh, mid May. Um, that looks like everything there. 